Wild Roses Rosa SPP are a versatile and potent medicinal plant treasured for their delicate beauty and significant health benefits. While there are many species within the Rosa genus, the wild varieties are known to have the most concentrated medicinal properties. Though garden roses may possess some of these qualities, the wild versions, especially the most fragrant ones, are the most potent. The medicinal uses of wild roses span across various systems in the body, making them a staple in herbal medicine for centuries. Identification of wild rose. Wild roses are easily recognizable by their five petaled flowers, which come in shades of pink, white, or red. They bloom on thorny stems that can grow as shrubs or climbers, depending on the species. The leaves are pinnate, typically composed of five to nine oval serrated leaflets. The fruits of wild roses, known as rose hips, are round or oval, bright red to orange, and appear after the flowers have faded. These hips are particularly rich in vitamins and medicinal compounds, making them a prime target for foraging. Wild roses often grow in hedgerows, open fields, or along woodland edges. They prefer sunny areas, but can tolerate partial shade. They are hardy plants, resistant to many pests and diseases, and can grow in a variety of soil conditions. However, they are most commonly found in temperate regions across the globe. Edible parts and uses. Several parts of the wild rose are edible. The petals can be eaten raw, steeped in teas, or used to make syrups and jellies. Rose hips, the fruit of the plant, are a particularly rich source of vitamin C and can be used in teas, jams, syrups, and even soups. Their tangy, sweet flavor makes them a popular ingredient in various culinary traditions. Both rose petals and hips can be used to make herbal infusions that offer medicinal benefits while being delicious to consume. Medicinal parts and uses. The wild rose is highly valued for its medicinal properties, with its petals, leaves, and hips being the most commonly used parts. Each part of the plant offers unique healing qualities. Antiseptic and anti-inflammatory rose petals and leaves possess antiseptic properties, making them a useful remedy for skin infections, minor wounds, and rashes. The anti-inflammatory compounds in wild rose help reduce redness, swelling, and pain, particularly in conditions like arthritis or sore muscles. This makes it a valuable plant for both internal and topical use. Antioxidant and antiviral rose hips, in particular, are loaded with antioxidants, which combat oxidative stress in the body, protecting cells from damage. These antioxidants, including vitamin C, contribute to the antiviral properties of wild roses, helping the body defend against colds, flu, and other viral infections. Digestive health. The astringent properties of wild rose help tone and tighten tissues, making it beneficial for digestive health. Wild rose can relieve diarrhea and soothe the digestive tract, promoting better absorption and overall gut health. Rose hips are also known to help with stomach ulcers and bacterial infections in the stomach or colon. Nervine and sedative. The soothing aroma of wild rose acts as a mild sedative and nervine, helping calm the nervous system. This can be especially useful for those dealing with anxiety, stress, or insomnia. Drinking a tea made from rose petals or using rose oil in aromatherapy can lift the mood and promote relaxation. Vonerary and skin care. Wild rose has long been used as a vonerary, which means it promotes the healing of wounds. It can be applied topically to bruises, cuts, incisions, and rashes. The anti-inflammatory and antiseptic properties speed up the healing process while reducing the risk of infection. Rose water is also commonly used to treat skin conditions like eczema, psoriasis, and acne. Its gentle yet effective action makes it suitable for sensitive skin. Vitamin C and nutritional value one of the standout features of wild rose is its incredible vitamin C content, especially found in the rose hips. This makes it a valuable remedy for boosting the immune system, particularly during cold and flu season. In addition to vitamin C, rose hips contain other important nutrients like vitamins A, B, and E, as well as minerals like calcium, magnesium, and potassium, which contribute to overall health and vitality. Cold and flu remedy. Due to its high vitamin C and antioxidant content, wild rose is a powerful ally in the fight against colds and flu. 
Drinking rose hip tea can shorten the duration of illness and relieve symptoms such as sore throat, congestion and fever. Its antiviral properties also make it useful for preventing viral infections. Respiratory health. Wild rose can help relieve respiratory conditions like asthma and bronchial infections. It acts as an expectorant, loosening phlegm and easing coughing, while its anti-inflammatory properties soothe irritated airways. Menstrual and reproductive health. For centuries, wild rose has been used to support reproductive health. It can help relieve menstrual pain regulate cycles, and reduce heavy bleeding. Its anti-inflammatory and nerving properties make it a comforting remedy for those dealing with cramps or PMS symptoms. Tonic and circulatory support. Wild rose acts as a tonic for the entire body, promoting overall vitality. It supports healthy circulation, aiding in the delivery of oxygen and nutrients to tissues. This, in turn, helps the body maintain energy levels and resilience. Wild Rose also supports liver and gallbladder function, aiding detoxification and promoting a healthy digestive system. Urinary tract and digestive infections. Wild Rose's antibacterial and antiseptic properties make it an excellent remedy for infections in the urinary tract, digestive system, or colon. Drinking rose hip tea or taking rose tinctures can help combat bacterial overgrowth and prevent recurrent infections. How to harvest wild rose. When harvesting wild roses, it's important to pick flowers, leaves, and hips from healthy plants that are free of pesticides and pollution. The best time to harvest flowers is early in the morning when their fragrance is strongest. Rose hips are best harvested in the fall after the first frost, as this increases their vitamin C content. Always ensure the plant is well established before taking parts of it to allow for continued growth. Safety and precautions. Wild roses are generally considered safe for most people. However, some individuals may have an allergic reaction to roses, especially in the form of essential oils. It is advisable to conduct a patch test before using rose preparations topically. Additionally, due to the high vitamin C content in rose hips, consuming large quantities may cause gastrointestinal discomfort in some individuals. Wild rose, Rosa SPP, is a highly versatile and medicinal plant, revered for its numerous health benefits. With their high vitamin C content, antioxidant properties, and ability to support the body's overall vitality, wild roses are a powerful, gentle remedy that has stood the test of time in traditional medicine. Whether used as a tea, tincture, or topical preparation, the wild rose continues to be a valuable and reliable plant for natural healing.